I want to talk to you. Come into my room. Or should I say our room? What's the matter, King? So you took Claire out to lunch, eh? No crime in that, is there? No, no. We share everything. Don't be silly, King. I know how you feel about Claire. You know I wouldn't double-cross you any more than you'd double-cross me. What did Claire say about me? We didn't discuss you. What did you talk about, the weather? Now, wait a minute. I know you've got a hangover and you're nervous and jumpy about the show and you've got to let off steam on somebody. But please, don't say anything we might both regret. Oh, you're getting sensitive, aren't you? Not a bit. You're getting a little fed up with the way you're acting, if that's what you mean. Oh, pardon me. I'm only the leading man in the show. Go ahead, take Claire out. Make her late for rehearsal, so long as you get yourself in nice and solid. Don't worry about making a monkey out of me. I'm only the guy that's going to have his name up in lights. Listen, King. When success goes to a dancer's feet, he's all right. But when it goes to his head, he's top-heavy. Say, where do you get off to talk to me like this? I'm wise to you. You're too smart. That was very clever the way you got that story mixed up this morning out there so that you put me in a bad light with Matthews and Claire. Then you take her out to lunch and do a little chiseling. It's too bad about King, isn't it? Now, if I was in his shoes, I don't know why I don't take a poke at you. I know why you don't. Because you haven't got it in you. A guy that can't take it can't give it, and that's you. You've proved that ever since you got tripped up by a little bit of success. Why, you're not even on the level with yourself. You're always acting. Well, one of your audience is walking out on you right now, and that's me. You're staying right here till the show opens. That's what you think. Okay. Hey, you! 